Hello, hello! Welcome back to another episode of the Soul Race Specialist. And what? I'm not even doing raids. Yes, guys, if you're new, we're still getting there. Grinding the most right now is the Magic Fang. So that's the last major item from Zora I need and a few other things. But yeah, this is going to be the main focus this time around. So without further ado, enjoy today's video. 142. Nice. Just be my personal best. It's so funny because I have 143 way before I had range pots and uh, lesser magic and range uh, range levels as well. I made a bunch of super compost, but I did not turn them into ultra compost. I decided to just make them on the way to my herb runs. So there's a nice long path in the Trollheim uh, herb patch where if I click the ladder, I'll be automatically be pathing towards it, and it's a really long path, right? So in that time. I can make a bunch of ultra compost. So every herb run, I just do that, and pretty nice. Save some time. Oh my god! Holy shit! 100k Zora skills, 100k plus. Wow, man, I'm so stocked up. Oh boy, once I get this magic fang, dude, I'm gonna be able to use it for a long time. The master scroll book is a nice backup teleport to a bank, just because sometimes I forget to bring my ring of dueling. Because it ran out of charges or something, or my glory's out of charges as my backup. So the scroll book's pretty nice because I got some pest control teleports, which is right next to the bank. So. Oh, yo! I just got a serpentine fistage! Oh my god, yo, boys! It's a field day! Let's go! Oh my god. I just didn't know what it was for a second, dude. Okay. Alright, that's awesome, man. Finally, not a fucking blowpipe, I gotta say, man. Yeah, boys. Let's go, man. That's awesome. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna start using this right away, because, um, using anti-poison, clearing poison is just super annoying. No matter what, you're just gonna take a shit ton of damage from the poison stacking up on you over time, so this is huge, man. I'm gonna be able to... Just have some chill Zora kills, man. I'm definitely gonna try to push for three kill trips. I gotta say. Gotta go for those three kill trips, man. So the Serpentine Helmet isn't a tribrit helmet because it does have some negative stats on the range and accuracy side. So it will make me miss a little bit more on Zora versus something like a Slayer Helm in B, which does have some accuracy bonuses. However, it's not by too much. I only suffer like minus five or something. And it also comes with a huge defensive bonus, which will help me tank some mage solar range hits. Alright, so this is a new setup. I freed up a bunch of space uh, for the antis. So I'll bring in the extra prayer pot so I can go for those three kill trips. Uh, two anglers, so I can angler up, pre angler up for the next two kills after the first kill or of every trip. Also, the Serpentine Helmet is going to be a crucial item to get for when I start upgrading my gear on phase two, but that's for future stuff, so. Had I not gotten it before the Magic Fang, I would have definitely come back to Zora to get this Serpentine Helmet when I am going to go do stuff like God Wars for Phase 2. Easy first kill with the Visage and uh, wow. I like use no food basically, so that's awesome. For those of you guys that are using Serpentine Helmets as Zora and you want to save some scales, there are parts of the fight where you can fight the boss without actually having your helmet on, such as in the beginning, especially the beginning, because in the beginning you get multiple hits for free, the boss will never fight back. So that means it will never poison you, helmet on or not. So that's why I always do, I take off the helmet for my first few hits, just because I save skills, and also I'm more accurate without the helmet on anyways, so it's a win-win. The Serpentine Helmet is actually a really big deal for my Zora efficiency, just because the best way to get to Zora is, of course, do the Surrender Teleports. I was doing two kill trips before, and two kill trips are nice because they'll help you sustain your teleports for a long time. However, eventually you will run out if you can only do up to two kills a trip. So with the Serpentine Helmet, I can do three kills a trip. As long as I'm able to do mostly three kill trips, I will be able to sustain my teleports forever. I can always get back to Zora, no problem, fastest way possible. Damn, bro, look at this. No food. Barely any food used. Easy, boys. Except the babies. They'll uh, kick my ass quite a bit. Wow, that's amazing. Second kill, and I'm um, still pretty much over half my food. 
I wonder if this will poison me. Let me test this. I'm not sure the poison clouds can't poison you. I don't think it does. So I can take this off if I want to. If I want to be sweatier, you know, I could totally do that. On the melee phase with no minion snakelings around. And that is three kills in one trip, no problem. I still have, oh man, it's pretty much all my food, uh, shark lives. So that's amazing. I could push for four kills a trip, but it's not really that efficient anymore because I am using quite a bit of prayer pots to do that. And once you get three kills, you know, you're infinitely sustaining your teleports. So I'd rather just uh, teleport out and reset my stats to save some prayer pots. Three kills is good enough. Some other sweaty things I do from time to time is I will kill the Zora Snakelings in between Zora's dives into its next position. So the blowpipe is super fast, so you can easily pop off two to three hits and not waste any time, you know, before the next Zora pops up. And it's nice because you save some damage sometimes and also save some repo charges. It's actually insane how much less damage I take with the Serpentine Helmet because of the fact that I can't get poisoned. I finished 3 kills and a lot of times I'll still have like even up to 50% of my food after 3 kills. I would say on average the poison damage constituted for at least 30% of the damage I would take. So the Serpentine Helm just completely got rid of that altogether. So yeah, I'm saving like 30% of food. Alright guys, this is the 800th KZ Zora. Still no Magic Fang, but it's not actually that, that bad, you know. I'm only still less than two times over drop rate. And I'm so glad I have the Serp Helm though, because I'm looking forward to just doing more, man. Serp Helm just makes Zora so much more relaxing, so no stress. So I'm getting these last defense levels to 90 at Nightmare Zone. I've done some observations here with how I can orientate myself to get better experience. And uh, I have discovered that it's better to be close to a corner but not exactly at the corner. Because I realized that if you are at a corner, some monsters that were supposed to spawn like at the very end of the map, they won't spawn on time, they'll actually be delayed. Your character will sit there and there's nothing attacking you and you, you're not getting XP. So I highly recommend if you're going to do some AFK numbers like I am, definitely uh, stay maybe like five or six squares away from the corner. That way everything will be able to spawn on time and there is no delay. So you'll be getting maximum AFK experience. No downtime. There's a little level here. We got 97 hit points. Thank you very much Nightmare Zone. I planted my Poison Ivy Berry at the Champions Guild and I'm gonna go buy some of the teleport cards for the uh, now defunct, what is that game called? Chronicle. But yeah man, now I can just buy like as many teleports as I want. It used to be 10 per day which was super annoying but now it's like, buy as many as you need. So I need to go and collect some more wines for Zora for the range pots. And uh, I'm collecting wines at the Zermak Temple, just near the wilderness. I'm not doing the one in the wilderness, because that place is toxic, peak here, so stay away. And um, I'm trying to do two inventories before I leave, which basically means I use looting bag for the second inventory. And uh, picking up the wines makes you lose your magic levels like crazy. So to offset it, I'm going to bring some wizard mind bombs. I could bring other things like restore potions, but wizard mind bombs are easy to get. And you can easily uh, buy them in mass through the uh, Berthaw pub and the banks right there. So I'm just stocking up on those before I go. So there is a shortcut that I can navigate from Berthaw all the way to the Chaos Temple. However, I didn't realize it was actually a diary requirement. So I'm going to go and get the Fowley Diary easy done real quick. Because look at that, it's so close from the Bertha teleport with using game sequence, so that's huge. So I'm trying to figure out exactly like how much food and how much wizard's mind bombs I would need to actually collect two full inventories. And uh, I brought 10 wizard's mind bombs initially and like 10 lobsters. And I just need a little bit more, probably like somewhere around 13 wizard's mind bombs. And about the same amount of food and I should be able to do two inventories. So the method I'm doing is pretty simple. I use two worlds. I telegrab uh, the wines from first floor and second floor, and then I hop worlds and do it again. The reason why I don't do the top floor exclusively is because if I keep hopping, I'll hit the hop limit, and eventually I'll, I'll have to wait. Whereas if I do it this way, using two worlds and telegrabbing both floors, I never hit the hop limit. And I don't have to compete with other people as much, so this is definitely the better method. 
All right, a hundred and eight range pots, about three hundred one dosers. That is three kills each, nine hundred kills worth of range pots right there. Let's go. We are back for some more Zora. Get out of here, Zora. Blowpipe's OP. Oh my god. <sighs> No, man, every goddamn time, bro. Seriously, every goddamn time. I'm gonna pick this up real quick, though. Oh, Jesus. I'm so lucky at the blowpipe. I'm so freaking lucky, bro. Oh, man, I need to turn this RNG around, though, man. I need I need the RNG for something else, guys. God damn it, man. Seriously. I'm trying my best to not even, like, you know, try, try my best to not be salty about this, but I'm gonna tell you, it is hard. It is freaking hard when you have like four extra of these mother truckers. Just don't know, man, you know? There we go, just about to hit 900 KC. And uh, we get some papaya trees and some law runes. Oh hell yeah, just hit 74 mining. I'm going really hard on this aura grass, you can see, just plying through hundreds and hundreds of KC, so I'm burning through recoils like insanely fast. Gem mining, unfortunately, is pretty good for uh, replenishing my gem stock. So, yeah, man, I might as well. Because I get a bunch of other gems, too, which are also very useful for other things. Let me see how much sapphires I end up getting from this. Oh my god, that's so nice. Now, I should be all set on recoils for a while, you know. A few more Zora Day grinds, so. Oh god, die, please. Oh my god. Die, scrub. Oh. oh my god. Oh. Oh my gosh. Ah. Oh man, dude. God damn it, man. I'm almost at a thousand kills, boys. We're almost getting there. Oh man, 20,000 skills. That's all I can say, really. Just 20,000 skills. I'm at 2 Surf Visage and I'm at 5 Blowpipes. As of right now, we don't have a Magic Fang and we do not have an Onyx. I don't really care for the Onyx, but those are the facts. Okay, just hit Quadruple Digits KC, guys. I didn't actually think I, I wouldn't have a Magic Fang by now. Holy shit. So I got some Hispora Seeds and I definitely want to go ahead and get the Bombless Bucket from the Hispora just because I do a lot of farming right now, right? For that 7 Herbler and beyond in the future and the Bombless Bucket is going to allow me to minimize the time I need to make Ultra Compost. So yeah, man, I'm going to definitely work on those Hisporis whenever I can as long as I have the seeds. So I definitely want to incorporate the Farming Gills Herb Patch on top of my usual uh, herb runs just because, hey, it's free, why not? However, getting here is a little bit scuffed right now because I have to use the Fairy Ring. So very soon, I plan on getting Legend Skill Quest done so I can uh, easily recharge some Skill Necklaces. Skill Necklace is perfect because it'll send me straight to the Farming Gills, so it's pretty much needed. And I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff at the Farming Gill for sure, so yeah. So you bet your ass I'm going to be doing a lot of farming contracts during my herb runs here just because these contracts are insane. On Mr. Iron Bar, I was just getting so many free seeds. Like, for example, you plant one air seed, guess what? You get 10 back and some other seeds, which is crazy, like magic seeds too even. So yeah, I have to do it. Now, I don't have access to hard contracts, but I'm pretty sure the mediums are still going to be pretty rewarding. So yeah, that's the best I can do, but hopefully I'll get to the hard ones, but... We're going to have to do some mediums. Oh my god, a Serpentine Physage. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? Oh, damn. Yo. I was really hoping that by like around a thousand kills at Zora, I would have a Magic Fane just because it's pretty fair two times the drop rate. But I guess we're going to have to go deeper into the three times drop rate realm, which doesn't happen too often for uh, item grind. So, um... Yeah, interesting. I mean, it's gonna feel so good when I get this match thing, I'll tell you that. Uh, at least the Serp Helm's, you know, helping a little bit, so we're, we're not doing too bad. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for the support in the last two videos. It has been marvelous, and yeah, man, I'm definitely motivated to keep going like this, so we can continue to play the game, you know? If this video gets enough likes, we'll definitely uh, work on another video sooner than usual.
If you are looking forward to the next episode for this series, definitely subscribe and click on the bell. And otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode, and I'll see you guys soon with another one. Take care and bye-bye.